This video will discuss how to create real-time quotes for your customers. Real-time quoting means another application creates the shipping charges so you don't have to set them manually. These shipping charges are dynamically calculated from the shipping from location, the weight and physical dimensions of the package, and the shipping destination. This takes all the guesswork out of charging for shipping. Let's take a look inside the control panel. The very first thing you want to do is make sure you have physical dimensions on all of your products. You can find this setting within each product's edit page. If you have a lot of products, you may want to export your products, edit the CSV document, and re-import. But we'll cover this operation in another BCU lesson. To set up our real-time shipping quotes, let's go to our Shipping Manager in the Control Panel. Within the Shipping Manager, store owners have the flexibility of setting up different real-time quotes per shipping zone. This is a great feature because it gives the ability to offer different shipping methods in different zones. For example, you can offer USPS in the United States, but then we can offer FedEx to Canada. But remember, multiple zones are not mandatory. Let's click into one of your zones to see the real-time quote options. BigCommerce partners with several shipping apps that can provide real-time quotes. In the US, we integrate with FedEx, UPS, and Indicia. Internationally, BigCommerce offers Royal Mail, Canada Post, and Australia Post. Indicia produces all the United States Postal Service quotes for BigCommerce. They offer discounted rates for their Indicia Premium users, which is well worth looking into. Let's see just how easy it is to set up USPS by Indicia to provide our customers with USPS quotes during checkout. Click Connect to get started. First, we'll need to create an Indicia account. Fill out these fields accordingly to get started. Indicia will require a credit card in order to create your account. But if you choose the free plan, you will not be charged. By having a credit card on file, this allows you to quickly purchase and print shipping labels right from your control panel whenever you're ready. If you already have an Indicia account, click the Connect link and enter your credentials. Before you save, you will have to choose a few settings for your delivery options. This area allows you to select what USPS delivery options you want to offer your customers. First, I'll select which delivery services I want to offer. Remember, just because you select first class, your customers will only be presented with the first class rates if their order meets first class requirements. Next, we'll select Packaging Type. This is based on the box you plan on shipping with. If you're using USPS flat rate boxes for all of your orders, then select it here. However, if you're using your own packaging, I would select Parcel. Click Save, and you're successfully providing USPS quotes to your customers. Now, there's two items I want to point out before we move on. Open your Indicia settings again by clicking Edit. Across the top of our window, we see a few more tabs that we didn't have earlier. The Get a Quote area is a great place to test out your USPS by Indicia options. I'll pretend I'm shipping to South Dakota with a 10 pound package that measures 12 by 12 by 12. Now hit the Get Quote button at the top. Notice you do not see First Class as a result. First Class is only applicable at USPS if your shipment weighs less than 13 ounces. The next tab, Postage Balance, allows you to review and add to your Indicia balance. This is invaluable for printing labels for each order right from the control panel. Let's save our Indicia settings and go back out to our shipping charges. We can certainly have more than one shipping option for our customers in this zone. Let's add FedEx to our charges as well. Click the Connect button next to FedEx. Upon first connection, we need to enter our FedEx account details. These fields are in the Connection tab, here. If you don't have a FedEx account, go to the Help and Support tab and follow the link to a great knowledge base article that will show you how to sign up. Once your account details are entered, you can go back to the Settings tab, just like Indicia. This allows you to choose FedEx services and settings for your store. The drop-off type is how you'll get your package to FedEx. You can schedule a daily pickup from FedEx, but if you're just starting out your business, you'll probably be dropping off at a FedEx location when you have a shipment. FedEx also asks for packaging type. If you're shipping in your own box, you'll select your packaging. For rate type, you should select account rate. It's possible to get negotiated rates with FedEx. If you choose account rate, these negotiated rates will be applied. Destination type 
should be set to residential unless you're only selling to commercial properties. Commercial FedEx rates will quote and charge customers less, but if the package is actually shipped to a residential address, then you're going to be charged the higher rate by your shipper. Leave this on residential to be more accurate in your shipping charges. Now we can select delivery services we want to offer. There's a few things to think about here. Are you realistically going to be able to get your products out for overnight delivery? There are often stipulations about drop-off time for these orders. Unless you have a daily FedEx pickup at your location, I would start off with FedEx home delivery. Once you get experience with shipping, then feel free to add FedEx two-day and possibly overnight to your options. FedEx ground is shipping to commercial addresses, while home delivery caters to residential addresses. Now, if you're just adding these charges for the United States or your home country, you will not need international options. However, if you are setting up FedEx for a foreign country zone, you would definitely want to add the international options to your shipping charges. Let's click Save and my store should now be populating both FedEx and USPS quotes for my customers. If you'd like to add UPS shipping quotes on your checkout, the setup is very similar to USPS and FedEx. Just follow these simple instructions through the Connect button. Now let's go take a look at our checkout. So I've already entered a few items into my cart for my great aunt Myrtle in Chicopee, Massachusetts. I'll choose to ship to her address. Now I'm presented with all the different shipping charges I created for my United States zone. If you need to edit any of these rates, simply go back into your shipping manager and edit the charges for this zone.